Welcome to Mishnah Study Masechet Halal, Perek Dalad Mishnah Teta. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to speak about gifts that can be given to any Kohen, right? So usually, right, we know that you're supposed to give all, uh, you know, gifts to Kohanim. It should be given to a Haber, it should be given to uh, someone who's trusted over to Tum, over Tum'an Tahara. Um, you know, we learn this from the Pasuk, mm-hmm. so the same way Aaron is a Haver, so to all others, a Haverim, and all Matanot Kiuna should be given to a Haver, meaning to someone who's trusted with Tum'an Tahada. Now, it comes out Mishnah and lists things that could give, be, be given to any Kohen, right? And it doesn't necessarily have to be given to someone who's going to trust these with Tum'an Tahara. We'll see some of them um, that we're speaking about because there's no Tum'an Tahara that's really necessary with it, or... Um, or we'll see other other uh, you know other ideas. These gifts can be given to any coin. Haramim. Firstly, um, the haramim is if a person wants to gift something, just a gift. He des- designates something to either the Bet Mikdash or or um, you know he gives the coin, right? It's a uh, right. So he gives the coin. He gives it to any coin. It doesn't have to be someone who's a haver. They have bechorot, right? Bechorot. Um, we'll list the next three, Pidion Haben and Pidon Peter Hamor. So the Bechor is any type of um, Bechor of a kosher animal, right? That's born. Right? You have to go to the Kohen. Uh, Pidion Haben, you know, is uh, the first son, right? That's born to, to a, uh, you know, to Israel, mother and father. Pidion Peter Hamor, right? This is the um, the first time that you're redeeming the, uh, the newborn donkey. Right? So all these are Pesukim from the Torah, you know, that we know. Um, you know, the, the you know, Pidon Peter Hamor, Peter Hamor Tebese, right? The Pidon Ben is the five Shekalim that we have to uh, go ahead and separate. Uh, we actually have one Pasuk that speaks about all these, right? Kopete Reham Lechol Basar Ashe Akribu Lashem, Ba Adam Ube Behema Yelach, right? So that's the all, you know, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the Bechor itself. Ah, Padot Ifte, Bechor Adam, Bechor Behema Teme Atifte, right? So you have to redeem them. So we know you have to redeem them. So you can redeem them and you give these to any coin. These are the gifts that we give to the Kohen when we're having a regular barbecue. We'll separate these portions. All right, it's the, uh, you know, the, um, the, the Zeroa, right? You know, the leg, the uh, the cheeks, and the Keva, the intestines. That's gives the Kohen. The Shita Gez, right? This is with the uh, the first shearings, right, of a sheep. You go ahead, you give this, this wool to the Kohen. This we learn also from... Um, um, from the Pasuk, right? The Shita Gez, Sonechat and the Mishnah continues, Ushiv Hashem and Serefa, Hashem and Serefa, we know is Tumat Temea, right? Tumat that became Tame, so here because it became Tame, you don't have to give it to someone who's good, careful on Tumat Tara. Anyone who's a Kohen, right, could, you know, use it anyway. Um, the Mishnah continues, the Kodshe HaMizbeach VeHabikurim, right? So before we just explain the, the last two, um, the Yerushalmi points out, and the Rabbam opens with this, that the Bechorot and Bikurim, Right, so the Bechorot mentioned and the Bikurim is the last one that we just mentioned. Those are given to Anshe Mishmar, right? The people that are working their shift in the Bet Mikdash. We know there are 24 shifts, weekly shifts in the Bet Mikdash. And these, those two, the Bechorot and the Bikurim, are given to those people who are working that weekly shift. The rest, Hashar, the Chol Kohen, everything else that we mentioned in the Mishnah is given to Ani Kohen, right? So the Mishnah continues with the Kodshah Mizir Mikdash. Right, what are these? Kotre Mikdash. So you go to Mikdash are given to um, any coin in the Mishmar, right? Also, they give it to any coin, any of the coin in the Mishmar. It doesn't have to be given to anyone specific. Um, and there are 10, 10, 10 things that are given to this coin who's working in the Bet Mikdash. What are they? This is a Hatat Behema, right? Kobran Hatat. Someone comes, Israel comes with a Hatat to the Bet Mikdash. So the Kohen goes ahead and he um, he goes ahead and he sacrifices Hatat of. Right, so is hatata of Asham Badai, right? Korban Asham, that he a person is bringing over, um, you know, something that he did wrong. Asham Talui, he's not sure if he did something wrong. He's not a Korban Asham. He's a Hesh Shemet Sibur, the Log Shemen Shemet Sora, right? The uh, the oil that the Sora brings, Ushte Alechem, right? The two Lechem, the two the two breads that we bring on Shabuot, with Lechem Apanim, right? The show breads, the Shiera, Shiera Menachot, leftovers of the Korban Mincha. Right, the flower gift offerings, or Omer, anything that's left over from Kurban Omer that we put on Pesach. Right, so all these are Kodesh Mikdash because the Kohanim are not allowed to eat anything from it, not allowed to eat it at all. Right, we have to give this to the Kohen. Right, that's, that's who takes care of all these uh, all, all these Kurbanot, and um, it has to be done in the Azara. 
Now, parenthetically, Rambam points out, and this is important on the Chat to know, there are 24 Matanot Kiuna. Right? It's a nice number to remember. 24 Matanot Kiuna. 10 that we just mentioned. Right? Those are the 10 that are in the Mikdash. Right? Then we have another 10. Sorry, another 4. Another 4 that the Kohanim could only marry for them in Yerushalayim themselves. And what are they? This is the Bechora, Bikurim. And the first fruits, Hamura Mitoda Ve'el Nazir was taken out of, you know, from the Korban Tuda and from the Korban Ayil the Nazir brings, and the uh, the skins, right? The uh, the hide, right? So, so that's, th those are those uh, those four. Now, we mentioned the Bechorot and the Bikurim, that's given to the Anshe Mishmar, but the Muram uh, from the, the, from the Tuda and the Nazir and, and the uh, Kodashim can be given to any Kohen as well. Um, Anabam brings certain the Pesukim that we learned from the uh, for the Orot and the uh, the El Nazir as well, and then he points out that the another ten that are given to the Kohanim that they could have in all of Eretz Israel, right? So ten, four, and another ten, ten in Mikdash, four in Jerusalem, ten in all of Eretz Israel. Now, what are they? Right, this is the Tiruma, right? Tiruma, right? Tiruma Maaser Hala. Mishnah, Mishnah, our Mahoma Sechet, Reshita Gez, right? The first shearings, the Matanot, Upitun Aben, Upitun Peter Hamor, Ste Ahuza, Ste Haramim, the Gez Lagir, right? So we mentioned these 10. In our Mishnah, we mentioned six of these 10, right? That could be given to any Kohen. Which four are not given to any Kohen that we didn't mention in the Mishnah? So Truma, Trumat Maaser, right? The Kohen has to do that. We know the Kohen has to be pure. He has to be, he has to be Tahorti. So we can't give that to any Kohen. That's why it's not mentioned in our Mishnah. Similarly, Hala, right? Al Masechet, we know yeah, the coin has to be pure when he eats it. And Gezel Ger, right? If you steal, if someone steals from a Ger and he wants to return it, right? Then you go ahead and return that money to the Kohen, right? The Kohen is the actual only only pasu, or only person who doesn't have any relatives that they could possibly return the money to. So who does it go to? It goes to the person who's bringing that Kurban, um, that, that Kurban El Ha'asham, right? We know those from the Pesukim as well. Now it comes to the Bihuda, and Bihuda, Oser Babikurim. No, you're not, allowed to, you know, you're not allowed to give Bikurim to anyone you want. Um, and actually, Allah is going to be like that, like you mentioned earlier in the Mishnah, that the Bikurim is one of the things that have to be given to the Anshim Mishmar. Vekarshine um, Tiruma, right? What are these? These are these uh, really animal food, right? It's more, well, it's, I guess it can be eaten as animal food, right? It's a very cheap food. And, you know, comes over here to Biakiba, and Biakiba says, Matir. He allows you to give it to anyone you want. Why? Because he considers it as animal food. And because it's animal food, there's no kipeda. Uh, there's not, no one's going to worry that it's going to become tameh. And Hamim Osrim, Hamim say, no, you're not allowed because sometimes it can be in. And there was a time in his history that where, where it was in during a time of famine. And Hamim Okozer, and this is what Yerushalmi says, Ematai Gazru al Karshirim, Yimera Avon. There was a time of famine that goes on the Karshirim. And Halacha is like Hamim. 